My name is... Victoria Venters! How rude. I'll remember that. Dear me, oh yes. A flamboyant and mysterious man has seen a face that has stirred long forgotten memories and soon he will recall someone he lost in the past who may now be within his grasp again in the present and upon whom he may stake his future. was familiar, but somehow you are still here, and unchanged, except for the hideous clothing and hairstyle. My one true love, before I was cursed, my Mosette. Hello, Johnson, is it not? Yes, it is. Hello, Mr. Rollins. Come on in. Thank you, yes. Is my cousin Gisbreth available? We haven't had a proper visit since I've arrived. Well, I think she's already retired for the evening. She's been quite busy, um, so I haven't had time to get my housework done. Oh, I see. My cousin and I have much in common. And Miss Vinters, is she available? I, I think she's upstairs. Did I hear my name? Oh, Carnivus. Do you have news of Thwilly? Why, yes. I did see Thwilly, and he's perfectly fine. Very fine indeed. Oh, that's marvelous news. Did he remember anything about the attacks? Alas, no. He has no recollection of what caused him to behave so peculiarly. Oh, well at least he's all right. And Johnson is all right too. Mrs. Fodder won't even let him out of the mansion. She hardly lets him out of bed. Yeah, she's doing that to keep you safe, I'm sure. Johnson looks perfectly capable of taking care of himself and several others. Oh, Wick! Victoria, do you know the young man who works at the diner in town? Well, the only person I know who works there is Maggette. Did you say Maggette? So much like Bozette. Yes, but she... Thank you, Victoria. I must be off. The evenings are my busiest time. Well, I thought that you worked all day long. That was your busiest time, and that's why you're never around. Busy, busy, busy. Until we meet again, Johnson Victoria. <laughs> Johnson. Hi, Dr. Hoffman. I'm heading to the kitchen. Can I bring you something? Do you have any ginger ale? Do you have any ginger ale? No. Don't have any ginger ale. I, I, I've got fresh ginger and some honey fresh off the comb and seltzer water. I can make you some from scratch if you like. Mm, homemade ginger ale. That would be lovely. Thank you, Johnson. I'll be right back. 
Well, I don't need anything. Thank you. Miss Venters, who is that striking vision of beauty? Oh, that was You were talking to well, just they... now well, that in the was... doorway. That was a few moments ago. That was kind of Miss Bollins. I would have introduced you had I known that you were in the room. Absolutely enchanting. Oh, well, thank you. I was referring to Carnivus Ballins. Who was the person he was asking about? Who was the person he was asking about? Well, he was asking about a man that works at the town diner. But the only person I know who works there is Maggot Bevins. Maggot Bevins. Miss Ventures, I have to run into town on an errand. But what about the ginger ale that Johnson is making for you from scratch? Will you drink it for me, Miss Ventures? Will you drink it for me? There's something amiss with my back. No, I mean, you are back. Ah, yes, those grammatical contractions. So confusing. Would you like anything to eat or drink? Do you have ale of ginger? I do. One ginger ale coming right up. So, did you find Lily? Yes, he's quite safe. Much to Miss Venter's relief. You know Wiggy? I'm beginning to know her quite well. I'm a distant cousin of Gisbreth and Rodlick Ballin, so I see her with some frequency. You're a balance? I beg your pardon. I mean, you're a balance? Yes, I am. I am Carnabus Ballins. And you. Oh, my get. You know my name? Yes, Miss Venters told me your name. I hope you do not... don't mind my asking. Wiki to drink it for me, didn't she tell you? Didn't she tell you? Apparently, she wasn't thirsty. Very well, I will drink it. Thank you. Mm. All refreshed now. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're back. Something uh, wrong with my back? Well, it's all covered with leaves. Oh, I must have brushed against some foliage. Tell me, Wiki, does Maggot visit you often? Does Maggot visit you often? Every now and then. Why do you ask? No reason, no reason. Just be sure to let me know if she does stop by. Hello again, Carnabus. I hope you... I am not disturbing. I'm glad you're here. I wanted to introduce you to Dr. Julia Hotman. Dr. Julia Hoffman, this is Carnivus Bollins. Carnivus Bollins, this is Julia Hoffman. 
Dr. Hotman. Delighted. I hope no one is seriously ill. Oh, Dr. Hotman Thank is... you, Miss Venters. Would you ask Johnson to brew some ale of ginger for me? Perhaps Carnabas Valens would like some as well. Ale of ginger is my second most favorite thing to ingest. Johnson isn't going to be happy. Hurry along, please. Is your visit to Bollywood social or official, Dr. Hotman? Please, you must call me Drulia. My primary reason for being here is to care for Gavid's volatile condition. Yes, Gavid. But you said your primary reason was for Gavid, implying that there's a secondary reason for you to be here. Indeed, there is a secondary reason I am here. I am researching the Balans family history and some other long-established families of the area. Are you interested in history? Are you interested in history? You could say I am history incarnate. You are still here, Kel Surprise. Will there be anything else? Mm, not at this time. Not at this time. Oh, Johnson. Yes. Would you ask Miss Vinters to come back in? And you come back as well. I have something to ask all of you. Very well, sir. Don't worry about that. I get called sir all the time. Why would I worry about such a thing? You and I seem to have so much in common. Do you think it's so? I mean, yes, I do. We are both unique and fascinating people, not like the common folk in town. I see. I do think myself superior to many, but not to all. Johnson tells me you have some sort of announcement. Yes. Yes, I do. I told you I wouldn't forget. Carnivus. What was it you wanted to ask us? What was it you wanted to ask us? I've put so much work into the old house. The, the old, old house? house? Indeed. Indeed. I proposed 
to throw a ball. A masquerade ball. And I want you all to come. Oh, that just sounds marvelous. Johnson, I should like you to come as well. To the masquerade ball? That too. What are you doing there? What's that in your hand? Uh, oh, it, it, it's nothing. It's, it, it, it's a cookie. Uh, that, that ale of ginger made me uh, thirsty and I had this lovely cookie in my handbag. Mm, that looks tasty. Why don't I have a bowl? Oh. Uh, no, I don't like to share. I don't like to Dank Shadows is an Eden Graham stencil production.